I think it's interesting that in America, though, that the, um, the office of what, it, well, historically, obviously, is the first lady because there's not yet been a female president of the United States, but there is a, an official office for the partner of the president uh, who has their own campaigns and runs, uh, you know, an official uh, sort of political you know, ship, I suppose, and, and because they've always been women thus far, they have co tended to concentrate on female-based issues, and that gives it a sort of official platform in a way, whereas here, you know, I don't know, Samantha Cameron is very good at designing handbags and, and wearing the correct belt at the correct time, but, and um, she's, she's become much more visible over the past year, um, which I, I think is a good thing, you know, she's, prior to about 12 months ago, I mean, I didn't know what she was up to or if she cared about anything and you might say well she's a private individual she's bringing up children what does it matter but to me it really does matter especially in such an underrepresented cabinet in terms of women you know to, to to have a sort of some sort of figure that's strong and interesting and has opinions you know oh, um, i don't want i don't want a male prime minister's wife to have that role i don't think we do should you? go no i don't oh, i don't I think do. we should go the first lady route i think we should there should be a woman there elected to do the job, like oh, in Borgen. You know, we want we want to, so we want we want that nice Scandinavian woman, don't we, to come and uh, <laughs> come, come and run everything.